welcome back and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Vanessa and I put out bi-weekly videos related to self-help meditation yoga we're getting Zen this video is about in bed morning yoga stretches that you can do to help get your day started don't forget to like comment and subscribe let's get started guys So sadly, for most of us, the first thing we reach for in the morning is that damn cell phone strolling. Let's start off by praying, giving thanks. That could be giving thanks to whoever you want to give thanks to. For me, that's God. Next, start journaling. And I know, I know, I know we journaled from the night before, but this is making a to-do list. You're going to write down some positive affirmations, something to get you through the day. Write down a simple to-do list. On my to-do list, the hell, the first thing is to brush my teeth. At least I could cross that off. Make some coffee, drink some water, and then work. Pray about it. Then we can move on to meditating. Meditate, meditate, elevate, 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 to med. No, that don't make sense. Scratch that. Meditate. Zen breathe relax while you're meditating you could think of all the positive affirmations that you wrote down think about your journal or just think about your day in a positive way nothing negative shall cross your path today or ever boo nothing at all after you've prayed and meditate and set your intention for the day this is optional, but I like to bring out some essential oils. Now my favorite for the morning, I like anything citrus. So that's orange, lime. Those are my two favorites right now. It just gives you a little pep. I put dab a little on my wrist behind my ears. Pretend like I'm dabbing it on the bed. My husband will kill me if he <laughs> wakes up and smell all this damn orange and lemon lime in the morning. And then you just sit there and you soak it all in, soak it in, set your intentions for the day, just soak it in. Let's move into a side twist. Place your right hand behind you and your left hand on your knee. Exhale, twist. And repeat on the other side. Remember what we do on one side, we do on the other. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to deepen that twist. We're going to move into a forward um, fold over your legs pose. Bend at your waist, exhale. Grab your toes if you're able to. Stomach on thighs. If you're not able to, or if it feels uncomfortable, grab you a pillow. Always use a prop if you feel uncomfortable. Place the pillow on your lap to put your head, and exhale, reach for your toes. Inhale, exhale, get deeper into that stretch. Good job, guys. Next, we're going to move into a wide-legged child's pose. Gently stretch the hips, the thighs, and ankle. So we're going to open our legs, lay our torso between our thighs, arms stretch forward, and simply breathe. I think the child's pose is one of the easiest and the most known yoga pose. Inhale, exhale. You're waking up the upper body, waking up your hips, your thighs, and your ankles. You guys are doing a good job. Next, we're going to move into cat cow. Inhale, arch your back, lift your chest, look towards ceiling or the sky for cow. Exhale, round your spine, lower your head, push in the bed away, look towards your navel cat, and repeat. Inhale, arch your back. Look towards the ceiling for a cow. 
pushing the bed away, rounding your spine for a cat. Booty so big. No, copyright. All right, keep going. It's a little bit harder and tricky on the bed, so that's why I end up making a fist with my hand just so I could get stability. If you do it flat with your fingers spread out, it's going to be a little tricky. So if it helps, round your fist. Now we're going to do, go into the dancing line, which is in a um, tabletop position, but you're slowly rocking from side to side. You're moving your head, you're moving your spine, you're going up and down. You're pretty much gyrating by yourself in the bed. Just rotating around, loosen up. Don't care about who's watching, who's not watching. You're literally just releasing all the tension from out of your body, especially out of your neck and out of your back. And just gyrate, girl, gyrate. Guys, if there's guys watching it too, get all that tension out of your neck and out of your wrist and out of your hips and out of your body without judgment. Just be careful. From cat cow, we're gonna move into string the needle. And slide your right arm under your left arm with the palms facing up, resting your right side, your right shoulder on the bed. Rest your right side of your face on the bed and bring your gaze to the side of the ceiling. And you repeat the other side. So again, you're sliding your right arm under your left arm with your palms facing up and you're resting your right shoulder on the mat and your face don't hold any tensions in your neck or your shoulder so feel relaxed if you feel any tension let it go let's tuck our toes and sit back on our ankles for a seated ankle and toe stretch so you have your toes tucked under you and you're sitting back on your ankle you could always adjust so you could always have your toes tuck or have your toes extended and you sit back on your ankle and you hold the pose for as long as you can or you could hold it for at least three to four breaths and once you're done you lean forward and tap your toes out Again, release any tension. So now we're going to move into an arm stretch. It may look a little tricky, so we're going to start off by laying on our stomach. And let's start with our right side. While laying on your stomach, extend your arms in a T. Bend your left elbow, palms on the bed while your right arm is stretched out and you're gonna bend that left knee and bring it on the outside. And you're gonna repeat it on the other side. Remember whatever we do on one side, we do on the next. Let's get into happy baby. Happy baby is literally a baby pose. You're gonna hold the outside or the inside of your feet and gently rock from side the side go ahead and stretch your feet out and we're gonna just lay here and enjoy the bed one last second before we got to get up and go brush our teeth and get our life started I know it's about to be nine minutes but we're getting ready to end our last pose is called a seated figure four which is pretty much explains itself while sitting on the edge of the bed, you're going to cross your right ankle over your left thigh and sit up straight and then fold over your legs. If this is hard for you to do, especially if you have like big boobs or you're not yet able to bend over, grab a pillow or two pillows. Always use props to feel comfortable. Put the pillow in your lap and bend over it. Don't stress your back out. Stress your back out or stretch your back out either way. And whatever you do on one side, we do on the other side. Yay, you did it. <laughs> I really hope you guys liked and enjoy. I know this was very super, super short, 
but I really do hope you enjoy. I hope you tried. And if you do, drop a comment below and let me know how it worked out for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I put out videos every two weeks. I'll see you at my next video. Thanks, guys. Peace.